Hey everyone and welcome to Wicode. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload images to an Express server using the Multer middleware. So here's an example of what we're going to build. We can see all these Pokemon cards right here are images that I've uploaded using Express. So if we go to our home page, what we get is upload image to Express. We can view our uploaded images or go home. If we want to upload an image, click choose file, and then choose whatever image it is that you want to upload. Click submit and it'll get submitted here. So I believe that was Venusaur that we added. Um, but all these images are going to be stored on the Express server and uploaded to Express. So let's upload another one. Let's upload this right here, which, which I believe this time was just this water energy, card 102. But yep, this is essentially what we're going to be building. So to start, what we're going to do is just initialize an empty directory as a npm project. So open up an empty directory. I'm going to open up a terminal at the bottom and zoom in like this. And let's initialize this project with npm init es6-y. And now we're going to install the required dependencies, which is going to be Express, and then the Express middleware called Multer. So what Multer is, let me show you it in our package.json file. So this right here is an Express middleware for handling multi-part form data, or specifically form data that has been encoded as multi-part-form data. So just like this right here. And we're going to use this middleware specifically to handle image uploads from an HTML form where the type will be set to multi-part form data. And next, let's install Nodemon as a development dependency to help us with our live reloading. And now we're going to start with creating our environment variables at the top level of the page. And these are just going to include the node environment as development and also the host and port of our Express server, which will be localhost port 1234. And now we're going to create a start script to start our application. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to set the main or entry point to be source-server.js, which let's create that real quick. And so this server.js file will, of course, be where our express code is. And now we want to run it with a start script, and it's going to be nodemon. We're going to supply our env file and then run our main entry point. Note that this env file flag, you need to be using node version 20.11 or higher or it won't work, but you can uh, easily update your node version or just use .env or something similar instead. But now let's start building our Express server. And first, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna copy and paste this code, but we're gonna import our libraries and get our environment variables. And now we've defined our variables, let's create our HTML form that will be served up by our Express server. And I'm actually going to just use serve up HTML as a string so I'm going to create this HTML form template, which will just be this HTML here that we'll send with Express as a string. But what's important in here is we have an anchor tag, which will take us to images, which is a page that will display all the images we've uploaded. We have an H1 tag, and then we have our form right here. And this form is what will be used to upload an image. And the attributes of this form are very important. So first we have method right here to post, which is the HTTP method of the form to use. Then we have action, which is where to send the form to. We're going to send a post request to dash images. And then we need this ENC type or encoding type. And this specifies how the form data should be encoded when submitted to the server. And we set it to multi-part form data because this is what Multer handles. But more specifically, this is the preferred media type for files and binary data. And then we have our input right here, which is where we're going to upload a file. And then we have our submit button to submit the form. This name right here is very important as it needs to be the same as what we provide to Multer, which we'll see soon, to identify or get this file. But anyway, let's now configure Express to serve up static content from a directory called public. And this static content is of course gonna be our images, but just below here, we're just gonna create our Express server. And you need to use ver node version 20.11 or higher to use this as well. It's essentially the same as underscore dirname let's create this public directory now. So inside our source, we'll have public. But now let's tell Multer to upload images to this directory. So the way we do that is right under here, we create an instance or we run this Multer function and provide a configuration object. And one of these options to this configuration object is dest. And this is where to store the processed files. So Multer will essentially store, this function right here returns a middleware that will store whatever files it receives in this destination, which will be our public folder. And now let's just add some logging middleware and serve up our HTML form at the main route. So I'm gonna paste this below. Here we're just gonna log out the request method and URL and go to the next middleware. 
and then we're going to serve up our HTML form template at the home page. And now let's actually handle our image upload route that our HTML form will submit the images to. And so for this, we are sending the form to post and dash images. So if we go up to our form here, we can see post dash images. And what we need to do is first call our multer middleware. So we're calling our multi middleware and then we're running the next middleware, which is just going to redirect them to the image page. So when you upload an image, multer will handle it and place it inside our public directory, and then we'll redirect the user to the image page. And something also, this middleware here, single file name, also appends the file to the rec to a file property on the express request. So, and this is example of what it will log out. So we have the field name, the original name, uh, mime type, destination, things like that. But this right here, file name, is what we need to make sure we match to the input type name in our form. So it's important that this matches this in here. But now let's create our images get route. So our route that will display all our images. And once again, what I'm just going to do with this is just serve up an HTML string. So for a get requested dash images, we are going to read get all the names of all the files inside our public directory. And then we are going to have an anchor tag that takes us to the home page, h1 tag, and we're going to loop through these images and we're going to set create an image tag for each of them with the source set right here. And so this is how we're going to return that image page. And then finally, we just need to get our express app to listen on the provided host and port. So down here, so we're sort of running on host port. And now all we need to do is just run the application and hope that it works. So what I get is bad env file and that's because I'm using node version 18. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use NVM to use a higher version. And now if we run npm start, it should work fine. So now server running on localhost 1234. Let's go over to this page, refresh it. So we can see we have no images initially. Let's go to the home page. Let's upload this one right here. So that's our first image. Let's upload a different one now. Say this right here. We get seal. And let's just upload one more because why not? And submit this. And we get a ponyta. But all right, cool. And if we look back inside our stuff here, we can see our images getting logged. So we're logging out this rec.file attribute. And we can also see our logging middleware. So it's calling the routes and the HTTP method. But this is all it takes to upload files or images with Express. If you have any questions, leave them, in the com leave them for me in the comments. I'll try and get back to you. Besides that, if you found this video helpful, please consider downloading my Chrome extension called Witscepter. Link in the description. I'll leave me a good review on it. But besides that, Thank you for liking and subscribing, and hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.